I'm watching. Lower it. Now, what do you do next? Lower it. All right, Danny, what's going on, man? Uh, trying to think of how you're using, going to use this. No, but it's what's going on? What are you doing? Get my hands in my pocket. Yeah, but what's your plan? Put a catch can on, maybe. Where'd you get the catch can? What uh, brand is it? Evil. The only, like, isn't that the only brand? Or? It's like dragon. It's like pushing rope. Oh, <laughs> So what we're gonna do here is we're going to attempt to, I bought these from Dean. I bought a set of four of them. And the reason I picked them up is because, you know, we got limited space here and we have a lot of stuff. We're getting ready to add more things in here, believe it or not. Um, tires, I gotta figure out a way, some, like I gotta reconsider my tire storage management. You can leave and, them in the trailer. And my cans. You leave them in the trailer. Yeah, that's where they were before. That's, we're a little behind, we got busy. Anyway, so what's gonna happen, a couple of things, but right now what's gonna happen is we're gonna put a cat, 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 catch can in. But before we put a catch can in, we gotta move this out of the way, because we need a little more room. Ready? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, that goes up to me that other dude. Exactly. All right, you're good. Bunch of box under there, put that roller on the front, and then if I want to move it out any time over the next few days or however much longer we have it. Well, you only have a couple more days before you guys are. It should be going away soon, but I don't know when. They got to give us a check and pick it up. We're not using this the way it's intended up here in the front because. Doesn't have, really have a wheel to grab onto that will stay inflated because of a tiny, tiny little. Foam. Yeah, it's got a bit of a hole right there. That and a cracked rim and. Yeah, so I'm gonna throw a bunch of blocks on there. Bring it under here somewhere. And yeah, take a look at this mangled up suspension. Look at that. Look at that bottom. Look at that. It ripped. You see where it ripped the bottom arm? I can't push it up because. The top arm is man mangled down in front of it, being pushed down by the shot. Yeah, so that's what happened right there. do next floor it yes no no don't floor it floor it no 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 don't floor it okay floor it huh floor it no don't floor it don't punch it no 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 floor it no you're good yeah good ideas once in a while All right, so we got everything moved out of the way. The garage is clear enough that we can work in it. Finally, look at that hole. That worked out well. Now I can drive it in and out. Let's go see what Danny's doing. Well, you hooked it to a Dodge and now it won't start? I don't know, I keep having problems with it uh, starting. Never since you hooked it to a Dodge? It's always been hooked to a Dodge.
The car is actually going to be leaving. I have it where it's mobile and I can move in and out. In and out with a bunch, out of a bunch of trouble. That's smart. Very smart. I know. All right. In all seriousness. Ooh, that's a nice piece of work. Wait, what do we have? Wait, move your elbow. What are these? Oh, the instructions. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> all right. What comes with it? A little cap for something. That's a... And a breather. So the screen that goes over the breather. And a cap. And a cap. With some pinch clamp. Pinch, for something. Pinch clamps. For something. For something. For something. It'd be better if it was yellow. Something. It'd be better if it were black. Oh, it is. It looks good. All right. Well, are you ready? Yeah. Where's the instructions? You threw them on the ground. Oh, let's go together. Where'd they go? Danny, Danny, Danny. All right. Come on. Get these out. Read them. Read them for everybody. Read them oh, for I'm not a very good reader. I don't have glasses. Yes, I wear glasses. Yeah. Okay, what do we have? Let's go over the instructions with all of the viewers. How many people just clicked off? We'll fast forward it. We're kidding. Remove valve cover breather hose from V-Flow. We'll be back. I think what we need to do is pull off the cover on the inside and the undercover on the inside. On the inside? I'll go over. Uh oh. Who's I this? I didn't order pizza, did you? No. Who it is? Hey! Yo, come on. Gary, how you doing? Good. Good, Phil. Hey, how are you? Not bad. Small world. Yeah, it is. You know Darren? Well, I'm just introducing myself. Yeah, come on in. All right, Danny. So, I read through these. You did not. Yes, I did, and then I read that right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, man. I read through them. I swear to God, I did. Are you ready? Look. It says, take the hose off, put the can on, put the hose on. It's actually pretty simple. All right, who do we have here? Hey. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Phil Terry. Right? Right. He came by, he watches the channel. He's a writer, we've met him before, we met him in Pismo. We've communicated with him a few times. And he came by because he lives pretty close and he wanted to come and check out what we're doing today. Absolutely. We're really just uh, hacking, making a mess and hacking, you know, hacking crap up. Hey, it says we move off of V-Flow. How do you not have V-Flow? I know, that's what I'm saying. They, I guess they assume that everyone that uh, puts on a catch can has V. Well, you think about it. You only need a catch can if oops, you only need a catch can <laughs> if you're running a bunch of boosts. And if you're running a bunch bunch of boosts and you don't have a V flow, what's the point, right? Exactly. Or a 2020 air box. Here, you want me to hold the camera before you get the light? Oh my god! All right. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, Sucker. This is one of Brandy's best purchases ever, right here. Pretty cool. I mean, I like the, you know, I like stuff with a battery because, you know, it's portable, but this, that light is always there. And I still forget about it. I'm confused because, oh, the big line off of the fleet, uh, this guy, off of the V-Flow. Uh, okay, so that's where you take, it, take yeah. that off and we gotta put that. But somebody put it on with the clamp facing this way against the charge tube. That would be not me. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a quarter hand scratch. Use I a half inch impact to take it off? He me like this. Do you see how he did this? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, I did not. I, 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 I okay. He I says didn't. you work on Pro XP's too. Maybe I'll be over here someday. All right? <laughs> Heck yeah. Man, I was so looking forward to uh, doing stuff on that Pro XP, we're gonna do. We were gonna do wide. Uh, you know, we're gonna do long travel on on yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Randy kind of wants another can in. <laughs> See, now you're blocking it with your hand. With your hand? Well, I kind of have to. 
That's what we're trying to get to. Can you see it? Back in there. Right there. So that hose clamp was actually twisted to the point where that... Uh, can we twist the hose and the hose clamp? Actually, I think I have it loose enough to pull off. Here, hold this and let me see if I can pull it off. All right, so here's what we got. This needs to go over the outlet on the V-Flow. We, we, we definitely have reached from that way up to do a bunch of stuff in this area before on different cars. Um, Danny does, he, he likes to whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa. discount it, but he does this kind of stuff for a living. So. All kinds of freaking yummy stuff coming out right now. Kind of what? All types of yummy stuff coming out. Is there? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's the stuff you're supposed to catch with the can. Catch can. <laughs> what do you think, Phil? I think it's awesome. <laughs> you guys are the best. Warm, warm clamp, or are we going to do a pinch clamp? Man, I just know. The only way I could see doing a pinch clamp on this is if we pull that v flow completely out of the car, which we could do. I'm good. And <laughs> Andy doesn't want to do that. <laughs> He's like, nope. Uh, all right, so first of all, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help Danny hold that in. But I want I want you to see something here, because Mister No using uh, long extensions. What do we got here, Danny? You know that's just a private joke with you. All right, that. it's not so private anymore. So is your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I hate these jobs where you just it's hard where you're trying to reach in. Have you seen what these turbos look like in here? Not really. It's just a mess. There's no, you know. They build a car around the turbo. Yeah. It's a little guy, but it's just hard to get to. Is this a race circuit? It's quarter. Why'd you give me a 930 seconds? Is it? Yes. I told you I can't see, idiot. Blind solid biscuit. <laughs> can't find it. I can't see it, Danny. I don't have my glasses on. Did you think I was lying when I wore glasses? No. See, Danny, if you just grab the right socket. You know what? See if you can, can rotate. You that's, does that feel tight to you? Hang on. Well, I can't rotate it, so I'm going to say that's pretty tight. Yeah, I think so. If it shoots off when you boost, you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> So we got this guy, right? It's gonna mount over here. Um, okay, it's gonna mount over here if you get a shot up under here. We gotta figure out, Danny's pretty OCD. So he will definitely, I wouldn't even think about like trying to figure out where he's gonna place it. But we got a socket for it. Uh, we got an electric ratchet right here. You can place it under. And I'm gonna grab a, oh, I don't even need it. I thought I needed an extension. So we're gonna, oh, that came tight. So, that. Hey, do you want to, uh, I know we never do it, but that stainless steel in the aluminum, do you want to put a little bit of anti seize in there? Yeah. Because that will go on like a. Especially with the steel. First strip of Pismo. Pull that thing loose. Yeah, Pismo, I wrote it like that. Right, we put a little bit of anti on it because those are stainless steel bolts going into aluminum. If you've ever dealt with that before, and don't do what Danny just did unless you're a professional. He's a professional. He can get away with that. But you want to hand. You keep saying that. You want to hand thread them in. Do, that's what you do for a living: turn bolts and wrenches and do wiring and stuff. No. Uh, you know that. There's no other witnesses here. Yeah, there's one right there. They got promise. Who knows? <laughs> I know. He I can know. be bought. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Over here? Why is it upside down? It's just made in China now. <laughs> Over right here? I think so. You can see that EVP. You should have thought this through a little bit. Well, yeah. I was trying to look at it earlier, but he yelled at me and said, what are you doing back there? <laughs> you going to edit out the boo-boos? <laughs> yes. No, it's a learning experience. Learning oh, experience. Absolutely not. Not his. It's mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna capitalize on his. Huh? Look at that. That. See so that. you know what's cool is uh, we have a pre-filter like this on our intake. On it. Jesus, those are so hard. There's no end to this stuff, is there? No. Just when you think you're at the end, something else pops up. 
Well, let's, here's the reality. So we can take these up to 200 and about 235 horsepower on a stock turbo with Evo, right? After that, um, you go aftermarket turbo. I think you can go up to about 400 horsepower with a little bit of en engine work, because minor engine work like head studs. Yeah. After that, uh, then you gotta start putting in forged uh, barrage pistons, stuff like that. Ooh. Then you can go up in the 500 range. Okay. So any bow I would normally go through that hose back into the intake and be sucked back through the engine again, yeah. right? So uh, in this case, fancy clips? instead, oh, look at that. So uh, in this case, it goes into that can and any junk that goes along, almost like varnish looking stuff. Uh, yeah, I had it all over my hands a minute ago. Yeah, gets pushed on through. Uh, that's one of the things, I'm going to be honest with you, here's one of the little things I like about Evo stuff. They do pinch clamps on all their stuff, right? Which is uh, most of the stuff on the Can-Am, you know, except for you can't do a pin giant pinch clamp over here. This has got to be, you know, reusable and, mo and, and uh, removable. But some of the other stuff that's permanent, they use pinch clamps, these. So they send them with their products, which I think is super awesome. Then uh, what we do here at the Dandy Off-Road Garage, you said that they're Dandy's Garage. Dandy's we Garage. Are, yeah. So what we do here is we, um, I bought some, I bought a bunch of them on, on Amazon. I didn't know where else to get them. And you know, I would love to be able to go, you know, downtown Europe, that yeah, area yeah, where yeah, you yeah. to go all, where all the fasteners and stuff are. Yeah. But they're closed open when I'm at work and of course sure. when I'm not at work. Yeah. So like, if they had an online presence, I would order from those places locally, but I just, you know, and I probably could somehow order from them, but anyway. I went on Amazon and I bought a bunch of pinch clamps because I'm a huge fan. Hey, Danny, remember that hole I told you I can't see things? Please tell me this is where you want it. Oh, my goodness gracious. You want that light? Yeah, that's fine. Good? Yeah. You sure? If not, I'll just I'm have clamping it. We have two of them, so if you mess it up, we'll get an extra. Wait, not there. <laughs> All right, so that's clamped on with the provided pinch clamp with our pinch clamp pliers. See what it says in figure three down there? What does it say? When using alcohol-based fuels such as E85, drain the canister on a daily basis. What if you only drive it weekly? What if you only drive it once every six months like you? Well, you, you still got to drive, drive it. Do you still, still so you, got to drain it when it's you daily? You still got to go, that's what I'm saying. Every day you're going to go out in the garage and drain this thing? He hasn't even started daily. Call me, I'll come over and do it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even get Go for started. a fee. <laughs> so thanks to Phil hey, hey. helping us video. Uh, we got this thing done. That was kind of a pain to get that hose off, but that had nothing to do. You know, that was and that was where Danny put remove, the... Removal is just the way the... Yeah, what happened, I guarantee you what happened is we put not whoever, I don't think it was even us, whoever put the V-Flow in, they put that hose together before they put it in the car next to the charge tube, or they put that clamp on when oh, the it's charge tube It's also hard to put that little cap on, especially with the wrong size socket. Can't find it. I can't see it, Danny. I don't have my glasses on. That's what I'm talking about, is the <laughs> cap. Oh, the cap. That wrong side socket is 100% your fault. What? What? Did I, did I not tell him? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks. I know who the host is around here. <laughs> right, right. So anyway, we uh, are done, right? For now. We got other things we got to do to it, but. Oh yeah, no, there's. I got. Right, when you get back from Glamis, I, and I, we got that secret little project that I've been trying to keep in the reps. What's that? I. It has to do with that color. It's you're trying to keep it under wraps. Yeah, yeah. Not really oh, it's going to go like up in this area back in here yeah. somewhere. Mm, yeah. This is a killer rep. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, pretty cool, huh? That is killer. So, thanks for watching Dan Dandy Off-Road Adventures with us. Uh, Brandy says, hey, peace. Peace out. We're done. Uh, we're out. We're out. We're out.